Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a resource which makes your vehicle bounce. Why is this a thing? I have no idea. It's something cool. I wanted to cover it. There's a lot of not free resources anymore that are just random and kind of fun. This is one that I found that came out recently and I think it is a great idea. Please authors make more of these fun random resources. Anyway, what it does is it will go ahead and bounce vehicles in range of the player or just specify the type of vehicle you want to bounce. There's a config file. I mean, there's even a config file for this. So anyway, if you want to play with this, I'll do a showcase later in the video, but just come here to the resource page linked in the top of the description. This is where you can get support if you need. Just leave it down here and talk to them. Um, but you click the big GitHub button here. It will take you to a GitHub. Click the green one, press download zip and open this up with your favorite exporter, WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you want to use. And go into your server data resources folder. And then in here, you can see there is all these files that you're going to need. Drag that straight into your resources, rename it, get rid of the dash main, that GitHub adds, and just copy the 5M underscore vehicle underscore bounce. And then navigate to where your server.cfg file is. For me, it is in my server resources folder, server data folder. For you, it could be in your TX admin folder or your Zap hosting FTP file access, whatever that is. Type in sure the name of that resource and go in and save. It's that simple to install. It's pretty fun. Um, there's no permissions or anything. And if you want to modify it, obviously you can go in here, find that folder that we just put in. So 5M vehicle bounce. So this one, this is what you can configure. So how long should they bounce for? The height, is it active, radius, all that stuff, all your vehicle types. So by default, they're all going to affect every vehicle in range. Should they turn on the headlights? All that can be configured there. So pretty simple. Just start your server, check in the console, make sure you see start resource 5M vehicle bounce. You're good to go. Hop in game and let's check it out. All right, we're in game here. Let's spawn a vehicle. So I'm just going to go ahead and spawn a SUV because that's kind of what it was being used in the thing. And it's pretty simple. You're going to type slash vehicle, V-E-H, by the way, that's vehicle, bounce and press enter. And then the vehicle starts bouncing and all the vehicles around you will start bouncing. I don't know. It's just a fun, stupid resource. I have no idea why you would use this in any circumstance, um, but it's cool. And do it again to cancel it. And you can see if I stop these trucks and stuff, type it again in the radius, they're all gonna start bouncing. Look at that, there they go, they're bouncing. Great great job, even the AI, AI bounce, that's, that's pretty cool. Bye, thanks for bouncing. You can type it again to cancel, type it again to set it off again, and there they all go bouncing. Um, you can get out of the car, whole thing. They're just gonna bounce around stupid resource but really fun so thank you to the author for making it free and releasing it i think it's just a fun thing to have um if you have problems with it just ask them on the forums but otherwise thanks so much for watching today's video and hopefully you can enjoy some bouncing cars if you want um obviously it's not going to take effect if you're out of a vehicle you have to be in a vehicle for it to take effect so to stop it just get in the vehicle type it again and to start it again just do it same thing, type it, and then everybody bounces up and down. And those settings in the configure file will be uh, taking effect. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Enjoy bouncing.